With the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks this week, you might think schools across the country would be teaching students about it, but you'd be wrong. Today, Shannon Handy found a San Diego classroom learning about that day, but it is not part of the curriculum in many schools. Even 20 years later here in California, 9-11 is not a required curriculum. So teaching it is up to individual districts, schools, or in some cases, teachers. We had a chance to monitor an eighth grade classroom here at La Jolla Country Day. Their teacher, Tyler Hales, is deeply connected to 9-11 and wants his students to feel the same. I can tell you everything from that day as it all happened. Tyler Hales was a high school senior in Massachusetts during 9-11. He remembers the day vividly and the impact it had on his family. My brother joined the Army because of 9-11. But for his 8th grade U.S. History students at La Jolla Country Day, 9-11 doesn't carry the same meaning. In part, he says, because they don't know much about it. They're not as connected to it as they were when I first started teaching 15 years ago here. And it's important that they actually learn about the day. Hales is trying to change that. What year? Did these attacks occur? Every year leading up to 9-11, he spends several days teaching kids about the events of that day, specifically what they think they know, what they've learned, and the questions they still have. Did it cause a war? What did they intend to get out of this attack? Hale says it's important to create that dialogue, not only between himself and the class, but among the students themselves. What questions did you guys have? He also has them take the discussion outside the classroom. Their assignment this week, interview someone in your life about their memories from 9-11. I'll get questions and say, you know, my parents were in a different country or they were, you know, whatever. I don't think they know anything. And interview them. They have a story. And what they realize is, you know, when they come in, they share their stories in some groups and they kind of take some notes and they all realize like everybody has a story that day. September 11th, 2001. But his lessons go beyond storytelling and discussions. While visiting his class, he showed a documentary with images from that day. Some of his students had never seen the towers go down. One of the reasons why that day is so vivid in so many adults' lives is because we all watched the day unfold live on TV, on the news. Hale's approach may or may not look like what you'd see elsewhere. That's because there is no standard curriculum here. Only 14 states require 9-11 instruction. How it's taught or if it's taught at all is mostly up to individual districts and schools. For this story, we made several calls before finding a class not only willing to allow us in, but one where 9-11 is being discussed. One of the things that I discovered is that a lot of adults were still so traumatized traumatized, are still so traumatized by 9-11 that they don't want to talk about it. Young adult author Joel Parker Rhodes wrote a book about 9-11. Towers Falling was one of two 9-11 books assigned as summer reading to middle school students in North Carolina. Though it's taken 20 years, she says educators and writers are finally beginning to grapple with 9-11, giving it a more permanent place in the education process. If you look at 9-11 literature, we're building a canon that you can start in elementary and all the way up move to more increasingly complicated well-told stories about the legacy of 9-11 and the time that we spent in Afghanistan. Some of it might be might be kind of shocking to see. Tyler Hales is part of that process saying like any other history lesson 9-11 is meaningful whether you were there or not. It's a really I think important exercise for the students to realize that like history is an everyday thing that everyone has stories to tell and they're all really meaningful and no details too small. Shannon Handy, News 8.